the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. the glorious mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do not be amazed. We seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised, he is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my, oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our, our sins. sins, save, save us, us from the fires, fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, heaven especially those in the most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said to them, the times and occasions are set by my Father's own authority, 
and it is not for you to know when they will be. After saying this, he was taken up to heaven as the apostles watched him, and a cloud hid him from their sight. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our, our sins. sins. Save, Save us from the, the fires, fires of hell. hell. Lead all, all souls, souls into heaven. heaven especially those, those in the most need, need of, thy of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. The believers who were all gathered in one place saw what looked like tongues of fire, which spread out and touched each person there. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to talk in other languages as the Spirit had enabled them to speak. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my, my Jesus, Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins, sins, save, save us, us from the, the fires, fires of hell. hell. Lead all, all souls, souls to into heaven, heaven especially those, those in the most need, need of thy mercy. mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Our Blessed Mother. God needed Mary to fulfill his plan of salvation. She's the flesh and blood of Jesus, the only one to whom the Lord would not allow to see corruption. When her life was over, both her body and soul were taken up into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my, my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our, our sins. sins. Save, Save us from, from the fires, fires of hell. hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of our blessed mother, queen of heaven. Mary is crowned queen of heaven and earth. Her dress is the sun, and she had the moon under her feet, and a crown of 12 stars under her, on her head. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my, my Jesus, Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins. sins. Save, Save us from the, the fires, fires of hell. hell. Lead all, all souls into heaven, heaven especially those, those in the most need, need of thy mercy. mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of, mercy, of Mercy, our life, our, our sweetness, and our hope. hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through the same, same Christ, Christ our, Lord. our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Father and the Son, and the, Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Good morning, and welcome to Our Lady of the Lakes. Our celebrant this morning is our pastor, Father Jerry Harris. We will now begin the liturgy for the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our opening hymn is number 501, Come Follow Me. Come follow me and live, do not be afraid, believe and trust in Welcome to Our Lady of the Lakes, everybody gathered in church, especially our guests and those watching on Facebook and on the website. Glad you could join us that way. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. May the peace of Christ, love of God, <clears throat> fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we gather here by God's grace, let's remember God's mercy. You show favor to the poor Lord, have mercy. You give love to the humble. Christ, have mercy. You bring freedom to the oppressed. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us of our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let's praise God with the Gloria. Glory to God in the whole
So let us pray. Almighty God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve you in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives, reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Let's hear our scriptures. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, Amalek came and waged war against Israel. Moses therefore said to Joshua, pick out certain men and tomorrow go out and engage Amalek in battle. I will be standing at the top of the hill with the staff of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses told him. He engaged Amalek in battle after Moses had climbed to the top of the hill with Aaron and Hur. As long as Moses kept his hands raised up, Israel had the better of the fight. But when he let his hands let rest, Amalek had the better of the fight. Moses' hands, however, grew tired, so they put a rock in place for him to sit on. Meanwhile, Aaron and Hur supported his hands, one on one side and one on the other so that his hands remained steady until sunset. And Joshua mowed down Amalek and his people with the edge of his sword. The word of the Lord. Lord will guard you from 
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remain faithful to what you have learned and believed, because you know from whom you learned it, and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, proclaim the word. Be persistent, whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. The word of the Lord. your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said, there was a certain judge in a town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to say to him and say, Render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time, the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, while it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what that dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. A number of years ago, Guidepost magazine printed a story about a then young high school teacher named Mary. She was beginning her career and she wanted to succeed as a teacher. But there was one student, Bill, who was turning her into a nervous wreck and her class into a three-ring circus. One morning before school, Mary was sitting at her desk writing something in shorthand. And for, for you younger people, shorthand, you probably never heard of, it used to be a training for secretaries so they could you know, 
somebody would dictate and you'd write it down. Well, you can't write that fast, but there's a series of squiggles and stuff like that. It's shorthand, and then you could translate it. Well, anyway, Bill suddenly appears at the door and asks, what are you writing? And as he approached the desk, she said, well, I'm writing a prayer to God. And he says, can God read shorthand? He joked. He can do anything, even answer this prayer, she said. And with that, she tucked the prayer in her Bible, turned around to write something on the blackboard. And what happened is he opened the Bible, took the note, and put it into his uh, typing book. What happened was 20 years later, Bill was going through a box of belongings that his mother had stored in her attic. And you parents know what I'm talking about. There comes a point where you've kept your kid's stuff and you said, this is it. You take it or we throw it. Well, he picked it. He went through and he found the typing book and he opened the book and lo and behold, there was the note still there in shorthand. What he did in the next day as he went to work, work, he showed it to his secretary and said, could you translate this for me? She uh, read it and blushed. It's personal, she said. I'll type it out and put it on your desk when I leave tonight. That night, Bill read the prayer. It said, Dear God, don't let me fail this job. I can't handle my class with Bill upsetting it. Touch his heart. He's someone who can become either very good or very evil. Now that final sent sentence stung Bill like a hammer. It was only hours before he was considering a path in his life that would commit him to a life of evil. Over the next week, he pulled out that prayer and read it over and over and decided not to choose that path of life of evil. In a week or so, he contacted his old teacher and told her how that prayer changed his life. That was persistence in her prayer. In the gospel today, you heard the parable of the woman demanding justice from an unjust judge. She wouldn't take no for an answer. Jesus is saying to be persistent even if we don't get what we want. In the end, this judge gave her justice, not out of a sense of justice, but one translation reads for fear that she's going to basically punch his lights out. What happens, though, when we pray and we don't get what we want? There's a woman prayed for her mother to recover from cancer. She prayed for many years, and the mother was in and out of remission. Finally, what happened was the mother died. She, the daughter, didn't get the prayer that she wanted, but at this point, she knew her mother was free of pain or discomfort. Sometimes God answers prayer not the way we see it. Often I hear, I prayed to God for something and he didn't hear it. We may be afflicted with sickness, death, family, or marital turmoil, unemployment, or what have you. If we put our trust in God, if we pray to him, then he will write straight, even with the crooked lines of our life. You got to remember, if you read scripture, you believe Jesus healed people? Yep. All the people Jesus healed, where are they? They died. Even though the healing took place, ultimately, the only way out of this life, except for a couple people, is through death. What happens is when people tell me, I prayed to God, he didn't hear my prayer, I say that's wrong. God hears each of our prayers. But I didn't get what I prayed for. No, 
But what happens is maybe God gave you what you needed. Parents with your young people, children growing up, did you give them everything that they asked for? No. A 10-year-old might want to drive a car. You going to let them do it? No. Your time is just not right. My, <clears throat> I, want them, I that, love that old country and western song by great Garth Brooks that he wrote and performed many years ago, Unanswered Prayers. It tells about he went back to his old high school with his wife, and what happened is he ran into his old high school flame, the one that he prayed every night that she would be the one in his life. The song goes, she was popular, she was beautiful. When we met at a high school football game, she wasn't quite the angel that I remembered in my dreams. And I could tell time had changed me in her eyes too, it seemed. We tried to talk about the old days. There wasn't much we could recall. I guess the Lord knows what he's doing after all. And as she walked away, I looked at my wife, and then and there I thanked the good Lord for unanswered prayer. In my own life, I think of some of the things I prayed for early on that I wanted. And I look back and I say, thank you, God, that never happened. Um, what happens is, is that when we feel weak and we feel we just can't pray anymore, we have to remember Moses on the hillside overlooking the battle with Amalek today in that first reading. Now, the deal was with Moses, as long as he kept his hands up, that the battle would go in favor of the Israelites. Well, you can't keep your arms up for like three or four hours, and he got tired. So when the arms went down, they were losing the battle. So he had some help to keep the arms up. And when he kept the arms up, the battle went his way, went the way of the Israelites. And the same thing with us, is that we need to come together to worship. God doesn't need our worship. We need to worship, which says, worship is putting God front and center in our life, and no matter what happens, God will be there. Sometimes it just takes a while to get there. There was a young man who was uh, entering into his spiritual journey. He was a seeker. He was told to go to an old hermit. And so what happened? He met with the hermit, and the hermit said to the young man, now go to that cave and with the scriptures. Read them day and night, and you will find what you're seeking. You will become holy and happy. So the guy spent three days, three nights, praying in the scriptures. And the fourth day, he came back, talked to the hermit, and said, Well, how are you doing? Terrible, said the young man. He was bored. His mind wandered. He understood little of what he read. The hermit said, Well, continue to read God's word, but do one more thing. Take this basket and fill it with sand. Every morning and every night, take a bucket of water from the spring and pour it over the basket of sand. Do this for the next seven days. How are you doing? Seven days later, the old man, hermit asked. The young man shook his head. It's going badly. I drift off constantly. I don't understand the, these words. What about the basket of sand? The monk asked. Oh, I pour water in it just as you told me. Some of it leaks out of the basket. Some of it pools on the top and some sinks into the sand. Monk smiled. You're doing fine. Go back and continue and return every week and tell me how you're doing. And so off the young man went and continued to talk each week with the old man about his struggles to understand. But one day, the young man came to talk to the monk and said something had changed. He said, all the sand in the basket was gone. Good, the hermit said. 
And the young man, of course, is real, still really confused. But now I'm struggling, and now I'm pouring water into a clean basket. Here's the kicker. Yes, the monk said, and the same thing is happening to you. You just don't realize it. You see, you are the basket, and the word of God is the water that you've been pouring over the sand. The sand is your weaknesses and pride, your unhappiness and selfishness and impatience, your sins. Slowly you have immersed yourself in God's word without realizing it. You have become more charitable, more just, and more loving. Your soul cannot remain unchanged for long against the water of God's word. Your soul cannot remain unchanged for long against the water of God's word. So now, go home, live your life, but keep pouring water into the word of God over your life and until your basket is empty, enough to fill with good things for others. I've been watching a lot of news and I'm very concerned about nuclear war with Russia. I am concerned about Iran and the crackdown on women. I saw the news this morning. There's been about 250 people killed, including 22 children, as they struggle just to be, have women free. I'm concerned about our politics in our own country. Will our democracy continue? I need to take my bucket of sand of troubles and come here to let God's word pour over me and my worries and allow God to give me hope and strength. It is then I will imitate the persistence of the old woman in the gospel. And if you do the same, you will too. Amen. So let's rise. So as we come to worship, putting God in the center of our life, we need to remind ourselves what we truly believe. That's in our creed. Together, I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seat at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. So let's turn to our God and ask the Lord what we need this day. For God's holy church, may he bless her with continued growth in number, holiness, to stand for justice. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations, especially Russia and Iran, may God lead those in power to a just governance and give them the grace to discern what is best for their people. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for those who are absent from the life of the church. May the Lord encourage them in their faith and deliver them from doubt. And may we welcome them back. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, particularly those who have no one else to pray for them and victims of war, may they be welcomed into the heavenly Jerusalem. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all human life be honored and supported from, from conception to natural death. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For, Mary, for the Marion and Oscar Chartrand family, remembered at this Mass, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs within our hearts, for those listed on the sick list of our parish, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God, you hear our needs. Grant what we ask through Christ our Lord. Let's be seated as our ties are gathered, the altar prepared. Our offertory hymn is number 404, Open My Eyes. Blessed to you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed to you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray now that our gifts of bread and wine, our tithes and offerings, be acceptable to God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the 
Lord, grant, we pray, that benefiting from our participation in these gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, salvation, always, everywhere, to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, his Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for sick, for sinners. He became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with the angels, saints, we exalt, bless your name, sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with James, our Bishop, and now baptized believers. Please remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her holy spouse, St. Joseph, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
So we rise to join our voices and pray as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from me. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Greet everybody around you with some sign of Christ's peace. the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is number 503, We Remember. We remember how you loved us to your death, and still we celebrate for you are with us here, and we believe that we
Just a couple of quick announcements. We're still looking for some volunteers to help in the kitchen. This faith formation on Wednesdays, it's basically a serve food cleanup. That would be awesome. Just contact Joe or in the office. Also, um, we get a donated boat for sale. You can contact the um, office for that. There's a picture in the bulletin. And also clean up this Friday, October 21st at 10 a.m. at Holy Rosary Cemetery in Georgetown. Remember, that was part of the merger for this church. So we want to keep that all cleaned up and sacred. So if you want to just uh, help with that, that would be awesome. Also, just uh, again, welcome to our guests, whether online or in person. We're glad you're here. If you're looking for a church home, please do consider joining our parish. We'd love to have you. So we have listened to God's word. We've been fed at God's table. Now let us go out and do God's work. Let us pray. Almighty God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours, and having been benefited by participating in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in peace to do God's work. Thanks, Thanks be to you. God. There is fellowship afterwards this morning, as always. Everybody's welcome to go back. Our closing hymn is number 614, Rain Down.
us from dawn.